As a site engineer, I'm responsible for maintaining a safety culture throughout site and for ensuring that all of my gangs have the correct information and safety documentation that they need to do their works properly and safely. So I will ensure that they've got all of their work package plans, risk assessments, method statements, permits to work, um, necessary inspection checklists available for them before they start their work and then monitor them throughout the works to, in, to check on their progress and to check they still have what they need. I deliver a contract throughout the year. It's a very highly expensive contract. It's a millions and millions of pound contract that helps me deliver the minor maintenance works, the civils, and civils products or civils assets throughout the London Underground Network. This would include bridges, culverts, pipe crossings, tunnels. These sort of minor works would be um, repointing brickwork, um, is doing patch repair work to concretes, fracture repairs, installing heli bars where suitable, and doing patch, patch repair work to concrete, um, sorry, and brickwork. Um, the, when I work with contractors, they go out and do the work. I scope the job with them. They go out, perform the works. I then go on site with them to ensure they're doing the, the job correctly into the right standard. Um, this is done, when we do fracture repair works, it's all done using qualified and qualified staff who are trained bricklayers working for the contractors that we do. Um, they then, afterwards, I then go on site with them and I say if the job's, work, job's done correct, I then sign the work off and then it's done to the test. My job is uh, to liaise between uh, the side team and the client. I am the first level of responsibility to check uh, the works, the quality of works and the installation process on site. Uh, I was responsible for uh, checking the national uh, structural concrete requirements, the client's requirements, the project requirements, uh, to see the specifications. I guided the, the works team uh, during the whole process of the installation. I made regular uh, visits on site and checks that ensured that I was always on top of any issues that uh, arise and on site. Uh, I was able to work with the supervisors and the works team to resolve quickly these issues. During uh, my work, I created trackers uh, to uh, have the best control possible on our records, the quality records, uh, which are the base of our uh, work and of, of our delivery excellence. Um, my work resulted in very high satisfaction rates from the client for our work and the quality, we achieved quality assurance of 90% and more. I was responsible for the delivery of the technical design review process for Tottenham Court Road Station. This involved me reviewing all the subcontractor information for the design and construction stages of the project. I took personal responsibility to ensure all the health and safety aspects of the subcontractor information met the relevant health and safety standards of the project. All the job what I do is uh, safety critical jobs and every time I have to have a safety briefing uh, with my colleagues whoever is with me. In order to go on track side, uh, I have to be uh, certified as a person with the personal track safety, which is called PTS. And if I want to uh, go on track on my own, I have to be certified as an IWA, which is individual working alone. So I have both these certifications, so I am eligible uh, to work on my own on track side. When I'm working on track side on my own, it's my responsibility to inform them, inform my uh, call center that I'm on track side in such and such time. And I have to mutually agree with them that I'll be calling back within the agreed time. So I have to, uh, in, in such situation, I have to make sure my own, my, my own safety and uh, I have to inform them within the agreed time that I have left the site safely with the agreed time.